find open shooters. Speaking of open shooters, that second unit struggled to find easy shots. Just 10 points for them collectively in the first half. Anything you can do to get them easier buckets in this second half? Well, we, we rely upon our ball movement, player movement. So that's going to be important for us to move the basketball and allow that ball to find the open man. Thanks, Teaspoon. Best of luck. We appreciate your time. Thank you. It is given away by Lonzo Ball. Ben Baisley going to the line. Trying to give OKZ the first five points of the second half and the lead. So Baisley got uh, the deep two in the corner. And I, I now the takeaway. This young man, is he has a bright future ahead of him. Especially if he continues to knock down that three-pointer with efficiency and regularity. Because he's really good at attacking the rim. And he's left-handed. And that's his second finish that he has had today jumping off the wrong foot. He was their first-round pick last year, 23rd overall. He's only Al Horford, anytime Zion catches that ball in the paint, that's nine points in a row for Darius Basley to start the second half. 63-59. Anytime Zion catches that ball in the paint, Al Horford's sitting in his lap. Disappointing start to the second half of the Pels. Going to the two-minute mark, it'll be Lonzo Ball, corner three, coming up short. So an ice cold start for the Bells to begin the second half. Baisley, little space, feel well, he, pretty he's good. He's confident now. Yeah, pretty, he's feeling pretty good right in timeout. Yeah, with a young team, once you see that basketball go through, it impacts everything else. There is Baisley. Right. With a lack of rhythm at the offensive end. And a lack of rhythm at the defensive end as well. Well, you've given up 65 to a team that is dead last in scoring 100 points a game. They've already got 65 of the board. Brandon will get the first of two. And now word from Crispy Crunchy Chicken. It's not fair when you're hungry. You're always hungry. 945. <laughs> it's a good thing. 945 to play in the third. In the half-court set. Another turnover. You're telegraphing plays now, aren't they? Right. And a lot of times when there's a mismatch, everybody everybody's looking at the same exact thing that you're looking at. About 20 to 4 points off turnovers now. On that last mistake by the Bell. There are minus 16 of points off mistakes alone. And that's the number to start the second half. Look where Al Horford's playing. Look where Al Horford's playing. So if, if you're Steven, you have to either scream like this, or you have to put yourself in a position where you can be impactful offensively. Down on the run, Baisley. Pels didn't get back, makes him pay. And by the way, did you notice Al Horford never tried to get out of the paint? And he wasn't close to Steven Adams. So they're they're not going to call the defensive three. So now but you have to also, adjust. But he's also in the spot where he can tag. His tag man is Zion. Zion on the high screen for Bledsoe. And right now what they're doing, they're, gun, they're going under all screen and rolls and daring the Pelicans to beat them from the perimeter. And the Pels are down by nine. Their largest hole so far tonight. Trailed by as many as six in the first half. And another breakdown. Baisley having a career night at the Pels' expense, isn't he? Darius Baisley's up. Never thought you want Baisley to pick up his fourth, did you? Right now, he's the best player on the floor. Right, that's what I mean. You never looked at Baisley that way, where you want him to pick up the fourth because he's got the hot hand. He's the only one in double figures for Oklahoma City. He's got 20 points. Next closest is Diotto off the bench. Count the bench. Count it. 72-63. Yeah, they're not a high percentage three-point team to begin with. So the Pels have started 0 for 5 the second half. Their points have come at the free throw line. Look where Al Horford's playing again. He's in the no man's land. And Brandon Ingram mid-range on the elbow. Again, if Al Horford's going to sit back in the hole like that if you're Steven, now you have to...
to become more of a screener, so that way when whoever comes off that screen... Yeah, he's feeling pretty good about himself. And he's asking for it. Zion was two, but the ball went to the other side. Now, up against Baisley. The challenge, Zion answers. Five-point game, 72-67, and Zion is up to 18 like Brandon Ingram. Too easy. Gilgis Alexander. Bells are working really hard to get everything at right. the offensive end and then right back at them. That was too simple. So 8 of 14 to start the second. Now you have to start expecting. Uh -oh. Good take. You wanted the good dribble, you got it on a little crossover and Luke Dort. He is out of fouls now. So two coming up. And our friends at Oshner and all of us remind you to mask up everybody. Stay six feet apart. Keep the hands clean. And the consideration to others. Being courteous. So thanks to Oshner and all of you out there. Stay healthy. Zion. Couldn't get two. Bells are now 10 of 14 to the free throw line. Only OKC right now is sitting on 21 assists and six turnovers. Pretty clean. And free throws coming up for shit. Because it's really flat, which plays in OKC's hands. Yelgis Alexander. Up to eight points now. And a seven-point lead. Ingram got his spot and gets his roll. <laughs> yeah, a little bit short and flat. And, and there's no question, he was gassed at the end of that last yes. game. He got 31 points, but it took 31 shots. That's a nice taste. Gilchus Alexander. He's attacking the space that they're giving him. And he's really good at that. So Josh Hart, a good corner three look. He passed on it. Maybe extra pass. Horford. Nobody on base. Now the close by Nikhil Alexander. Seven of the shot clock for Gilgis Alexander. And he's going to take a deep one and get it. A 10-point game, just like that. Two, four, points off the stakes, and now deep into the clock, Lonzo Ball. It tapped away by Diallo from behind. Or Shea Gilgis Alexander from behind. Other way, points off a takeaway. Lou Dort, and it's now, how about this, 18-point difference in points off the stakes. And let me reiterate, coming into this game, this Oklahoma City Thunder team was 29th in the league in fast break points. At seven and a half. One and done. But the one and done, right now, what you see from the Pelicans, they're playing outside of the three-point line. And what OKC is doing is they're playing inside the three-point line. They're getting mid-range, and good looks. And attacking. Down the heel, pounded by Diallo. It's going to be Josh Hart into the shot clock. And it's deflected, and now you only got one point. Lower their head and get to the rim, but a lot of times there's nowhere to go. And right now, you're out of time. He's open. Yep. Nikhil, end of the shot clock. And Zion he got takes it. it and rips it away. So Roby came in, and that's his inch 14th of the game. Wanted Roby. Maladone, he had a couple of triples in the first down. Mid range was stopped. Again, that's inside the three point line. 88 74. 